today I am in the garage with the Civic. I'm knocking out an oil change right quick and when it gets dark I'm going to give these guys a shot. I bought two different sets of LED bulbs because I wasn't sure which one would work better. Now these are cheap sets but they're a lot like all the others. I'm going to install both of them and see which one I like the most and I'll keep the other one as a backup. I'm still kind of on the fence about these LED bulbs but I've been very curious so I'm just going to give them a shot. Since I've had this car my nighttime visibility has never been great. In this clip of me driving if you look at my left headlight it needs to be adjusted up to give me more down road visibility and if you look at the right one you can see that it's pointed slightly to the left so the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the aim this is the driver's side of the Civic and I am going to point out where the adjustment screws for the headlight aim are this screw to the left adjusts the head right left or right and this screw right here on the right side of the bulb adjusts the headlight up or down now on this screw counterclockwise adjusts it up and clockwise adjusts the aim down on this screw over here if I remember correctly counterclockwise adjust it to the right and clockwise adjust it to the left. So rotating it counterclockwise brings it up. This is my first time doing it. It's pretty simple. Alright, so that seems to be about even with the right one maybe a little higher and I'm going to try and adjust the right one to the right so here I am on the passenger side of the car and now I am turning the adjustment screw counterclockwise and if you look closely it's tilting it that way now I'm going to rotate it clockwise you can see it's rotating it this way so I'm going to go a few more turns and see how that looks this is a different view of me driving after the adjustments the previous view was mounted on the windshield while this one was mounted on the passenger side headrest and the adjustments made a big difference. My visibility was noticeably better. If the car was like this when I got it, I would have never made any adjustments. With that done, let's compare them to the LEDs. So I got them out of the packaging and I'm already noticing some differences. The one on the left, the C6 LED replacements, they have a, a built-in fan. So you have the heat sink here, and then a fan to draw heat away from it. I guess that's good. These, on the other hand, have a heat sink, but I don't see a fan. So already, I think these will be the ones I go with. I may install the red ones just to see if they look better, but the LED portion looks pretty much the same, so I'm expecting similar amounts of light. I'm curious to see how these compare to my stock ones. All right, it's easy to swap out. Here's the connector here. Squeeze the sides, pull out. And this, this boot here, grab that tab and pull. It comes out. There's this little arm here that keeps the bulb in place. Push that in and move it slightly up and it'll swing out of the way and free the bulb. I'm going to try the red one, the King Soft, on the driver's side. Just pop it right in. Lines up perfectly. 
with this wire in the way you do have to work the other side of the arm that keeps the bulb secure you have to work that under the connector but after that you just reposition it and it's fastened so with it in the cover will not fit on I already don't like that but I'm gonna give them a shot and see what they look like the new plug goes right into the harness coming from the car and you're done and this one is going on the passenger side the passenger side is in it went in just as easy as the driver's side with the same issue you got to work the bottom side of the arm that holds it in underneath the wire Let's see what they look like oh there's already a big difference the king soft on the left has a whiter light to it and the C6 on the right is kind of yellow. I thought it would be an easy decision, but I'm torn. Um, this one doesn't have a fan, but it has a white light. And this one has a fan, but it has a yellowish tinge. I don't know if I remember seeing that in the description, but they both work. And you can even hear the fan going. I don't know if I like that it's another, another failure point. This is a split screen with the standard bulb on the top and the Kingsoft LED replacements on the bottom. The LEDs do look brighter shining on the garage. As you can see in the footage, the LED bulbs weren't drastically brighter than the original bulbs, but I did prefer the color of the light that they produce. As I drove around, the camera surely was doing some automatic exposure adjustments, but I think the video still gets the point across that there wasn't a big difference. Of the two sets that I bought, I'll be going with the King Soft because of the color. But I won't be running them long term until I can get another set of covers so that I can modify them to fit over the heat sink. At the end of the day, I can see better at night and I have a few options to play with. I will definitely be revisiting LED lighting in the future. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of how I fix the issues I have with my 94 Civic, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.